guys, welcome to Repealed. And this is my lovely sister. Thank you very much. She goes by the name of Mercy. Hi guys. Right? Hi guys. Hi. 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 Yes. Oh my God, my okay. computer almost died. Anyway, so uh, thank you for uh, taking the time to you know watch this video. Mm -hmm. As the title goes, this is a sister tag. Like I mentioned, she's my sister, and what we're gonna do today, we're uh -huh. gonna have a Bible trivia. Okay. Because we were having this conversation, and I don't think. She knows the Bible like I do. You know what I'm saying? I think I, no. know, my, I think I know my Bible. Girl. Girl, bye. <laughs> so anyway, she's going to ask me uh, how many questions? Six. Just six questions. Six questions, and I'm going to ask her six questions, okay. and we're going to see who knows their Bible. Okay. Who's going first? I think you should go fast. Uh, answer, oh. Answering the question, or? No, you can ask me first. Oh, okay. First. All right, all right, all right. So my first question is, what did Paul do to bar Jesus? Guys, I know this answer. <laughs> I'm gonna give her multiple choices, okay? Okay. So did he praise him? Uh huh. Blind him? Okay. Arrest him or preach to him? Girl. I'm sorry. Arrested him. Now that I know. Ugh. <clears throat> Whatever. Okay. Yes, that's true. So um, when Bar Jesus attempted to turn the people away from the faith, mm -hmm. Paul blinded him with the power of the Lord. That's in Acts 13, 11. Okay. My question is, how did, <laughs> how did Stephanas die? Stephanas? Steve. Oh, he was lynched. He was a martyr. <laughs> Wait, wrong. What do you mean? He wasn't lynched. He was lynched. No, he was the stones. No. He was stoned to death. He this... was lynched. Is being set on fire. No, and uh -uh. He, wasn't... he wasn't lynched. No, he was. He was stoned to death. That's what so I meant. Easy. That's so what I meant, easy. though. That's no. what I meant. No, that's 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 not it. Sorry. Next question. All right. So, to whom did mm -hmm. Paul and Barnabas speak in Antioch? Okay. Do you want multiple choices? Yes. Did they speak to Christians? Did they speak to temple leaders? Stop looking at my answers, girl. Bye. The whole city? Samarians? Or chief men of the city? Damn. I'm going to repeat that question again. To is, this, whom, is this in Antioch? Yes. To whom did um, Paul and Barnabas speak um, in Antioch? Can I get the choices again? Yeah. Christians? Temple leaders? The whole city? Samarians or the chief men of the city? Samarians. Okay. <laughs> That's wrong. You know why? Because they preached to the whole city. And you can find oh, really? the reference. Yes. You can find the reference in Acts 13.44. So I guess we're tied now, huh? Fine. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead with your bad self. Go with your bad Go ahead self. with your bad self. <laughs> okay. Bad self. Okay, go ahead. Can you just give me three prisoners that have been mentioned in the Bible? Just three. Paul and Silas? They were prisoners? From different times. So Paul and Silas is just one. No, 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 no. That's two people though. No. But Paul and Silas were prisoners, right? That's one. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, there was Barnabas, the guy who was... Um, Released from prison in order for Jesus to take his place or something. Okay. Um, a prisoner. I, you can go to the Old Testament as well. Oh, uh, Joseph. Mm -hmm. Um, Daniel. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Okay. So okay. those are even more than those three. Are more. Okay. Good. So good I'm job. good, huh? Good job. <laughs> and... <laughs> now, according, don't you, don't oh, you come even. On, I'm don't you even. Okay. According to Paul and Barnabas, uh -huh. what must we go through to enter the kingdom of God? According to who? Paul? According to Paul and Barnabas. What? What Choices? must we as believers go through okay. to enter the kingdom of God? Choices. Tribulation. Mm -hmm. Prayer. Okay. Baptism. Okay. Straight path. I don't think you need to go through prayer. So, no, that um, doesn't even make sense. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Um, Paul... Tribulations. That's true. That's true. Sad for me to say this, but it's true. We have to go through tribula tribulation to
to enter the kingdom of God. Yeah. And that reference for that is Acts mm -hmm. 14, mm -hmm. 22. Acts 14? 22. Okay. This is a very easy question because she's always like, I'm looking for my... So I'm just going to say it because... Boaz. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for my Boaz. So when this... She always making fun of me because she got a boo. I got no boo. What? <laughs> I feel like she's already got this. It was... Boaz. What, what was Ruth's husband called? Boaz. Yeah, because she's Boaz. always looking for... My Boaz. Uh-huh. Go ahead, girl. Where was Paul forbidden to preach? Was it in Jerusalem? Uh -huh. In Egypt? Mm -hmm. In Asia? Mm -hmm. Or in Rome? Rome. Definitely Rome. So for someone who is really confident in that answer... Um, is it? It's wrong, girl! Really? It is very wrong, yes. Wait, I thought... He was forbidden to preach in Asia. Wait, for... Really? Yes! In Asia. Wait, 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 wait. Go to Acts 16.6. Anyone got time for that? Anybody got time for that? Wait! I'm waiting. I thought he was arrested in Rome because of preaching. Yes, he was arrested, but he was not forbidden to preach. He still <laughs> preached. Grammar girl. <laughs> Grammar. <laughs> um, how many questions are this? I've asked you three or four. Uh, you've asked me who started. You started? I think you I started. Yeah. If I started, then I've asked you four questions. I've got two more questions. Each. Okay. So which disciple found a coin in the mouth of a fish? Um... Jesus Which had disciple? 12 disciples, uh -huh. and I think two were fishermen. Okay. I'm going to go with Peter. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's correct! <laughs> you know? I didn't think you'd get that. I think I want to just take this time to thank the Lord oh God, <laughs> for his mercies <laughs> and his grace that endureth forever. <laughs> Whose heart did the Lord open mm -hmm. in Thyatira? What the... Listen, I didn't come to play. There's a place in the Bible, uh -huh. and it's called the Atira. I don't think you're even pronouncing that right. I don't. I don't either. Okay. It's T H Y A T I T I R A. Thyatira. 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 Whatever. Whatever. Thyatira. Okay. You don't know. Okay. Right? It's fine. Uh huh. Okay. Is it Lydia? Uh huh. Is it Mary? Is it Rachel? Okay. Or is it Sarah? Now, I'm going to give you a hint. No. I'm going to give you a hint. No, you know what I'm going to use? What? I'm going to use the elimination method. Okay. So, I don't think it's Sarah. Okay. Because. She's in the Old Testament. Old Testament. I don't think it's Mary as well. I, I've never heard of Mary being in such a place. What are the other two choices? Lydia and, and Rachel. Um. Girl. <laughs> it's Lydia. It is. It's Lydia. It's Lydia. Ah. You know she's responsible for um, the gospel in Europe. She's the one that um, she heard Paul preach. And then after I, she heard the... I did not Lydia was that. called the seller of purple. You know that, right? What Was Lydia the prostitute? She wasn't a prostitute. She was a businesswoman. Okay. She was the seller of purple. I don't know what purple what? Is. is. Is that... I don't know. I think is that perfume? Linen. Or it's linen? I don't know, but it's purple. Anyway, so she heard Paul preach. And then when she heard Paul preach... Mm -hmm. Um, it's even in, in Acts 16, 14, okay. she went and she spread the gospel in Europe, more than day Europe. Guys, that was completely elimination method. I had no idea. Good job, girl. Good job. All right. Okay, so what happened first between these two events? Okay. Was it um, Preacher Paul on the Areopagus or the execution of Jacob? He said I gave you a difficult one. What? What? Can you say that again? What happened first? Was it Preacher Paul on the Areopagus or the execution of Jacob? Jacob from the old... She don't know this. She don't know this. Listen. <laughs> Jacob from the Old Testament? I think there's only one Jacob. Yeah, that's... It. So you're asking which one came first? Mm -hmm. Then it's Jacob. Before Paul. Okay. Yeah, that's the answer. That's true. That's true! Okay, so my last question for her is um, Are zombies mentioned anywhere in the Bible? True? <laughs> True or false? Girl. 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 Stop playing. 
You know the answer? <laughs> if you know the answer, give me the reference. I don't think I have a reference, but I think it's true because zombies are... I'm just going to use like a very modern reference, The Walking, Walking Dead. Dead. <laughs> so, and I remember there's a part, there's, there's a time in the Bible where the dead literally came to life and were walking in the cities. I think it's in the New Testament. Yes. They were walking in the cities and it was just, first of all, that's really creepy. I know. So, um, we're tied, right? She has four out of, wait, five out of six. Mm -hmm. And I have five out of six. So we have to have a tiebreaker. Okay. Who's going first? You. Okay. Remember, um, there were 12 tribes when Moses was um, leading the people of Israel, right? So, the question is, okay. which of the 12 tribes were the largest okay. when Moses... Moses. Moses. Ask, which, we just say Moses. Moses. <laughs> Mos, Mo, <Mose>? Mose? <laughs> Moses. 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 Which of the 12 okay. tribes um, were the largest when Moses huh? conducted a census? Do you want the multiple choices? Yeah. Was it God? Was it Judah? Was it Asa? Levi? Or Cherokee? I don't even had some of these words. <laughs> it's a tiebreaker. <laughs> because we know who's going to win this. Okay, so... Um... I'm just going to go with the most popular one that I know. Which is? Judah. Masi, you looked at my answers. I'm done! <laughs> she looked at my answers. I, 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 for real. No. I didn't see the answers. I actually didn't see those answers. I don't know why she's being dramatic like this. I did not see those answers. It's true. What? What's true? You got it right. <laughs> my question is, consider what a great forest is set on fire by a really tiny spark. Huh? The Bible talks about it. What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what a great fire is. Dude, that's not even English. <laughs> that's not, that's not English. English. It's an emotion. Oh, shh. Shut up. I can see a little your question, by the way. You know the answer. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Well, that's the question. That's the question itself. What is that? What am I. Describing is it the power of the tongue or the word or like so a word? No, yeah, it's the tongue. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we need one more question for real because this video is gonna go on for long. Question. Okay, so let's just get one question from him so that we the one who gets it right first. Okay, no, no, who shouts it first? She was a prophet. Moses' wife. Uh, <laughs> uh, mm, mm, mm. I said, you know, I even said Moses. It's no. not Moses. It's Moses. Moses <laughs> Yeah. So I mean, I think typical Kenyans just say. Well, first of all, let me say this: the person who's asking the questions, they're connected. There's the bow thing. Uh -huh. So I don't know if you're signaling each no. other. <laughs> you're looking better. <laughs> so I'm done. Whatever. First of all, I just wanna say sorry for saying Moses. It's not Moses. It's Moses. The wife of Moses. Zipporah. Yeah. I'm done. So I mean, whatever. There's so, gonna be a part two to this. Because I am a sore loser. <laughs> yeah, she Pretty is. Much. Ugh. So you win. Let me show you my victory dance. <laughs> so thank you so much, you guys. Um, remember my tagline? You're never. Oh my god. This is my sister. She doesn't even know my tagline. Like... You're not oh, even a fan, bro. Wait, Dang. Wait, your tagline, that's sad. You're never too turned to be turned by the Lord. <laughs> I can't believe my sister doesn't even know my tagline. Like, I've been on YouTube now for like five, six months. 
Well, that's, that's still some time for you. Your, your family should know. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, you're never too, too tainted to too witness. Oh, come on. I, was, I was really close. T anyway. For turned. Tainted. Tainted. Turned. You're so not, never too. You never, don't be too turned, though. You're never too tainted to witness. To witness for the Lord. Sorry. I'm sorry. You know I will put some videos somewhere here okay. for you to watch. Okay. They might be blocking our faces. But uh, feel free to watch and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. We are, we don't even have a Christmas tree. No, we don't. We ratchet. This is Africa. Ah! This is Africa, guys. Oh, oh sorry.